There's no doubt about it, cancer is scary. Yet being aware of your personal risk factors can assuage some fear and help keep you healthy. Anyone can develop cancer, and many people do. Some form of this disease is likely to affect one-third of American women and one-half of American men in their lifetimes. Cancer stems from genetic mutations in the body's DNA. The result is the rapid growth of unhealthy, cancerous cells in the body. If left undiagnosed or if treatment fails, these cells can migrate or spread to vital organs. The result can be severe illness or even death. Cancer-causing DNA mutations occur for a variety of reasons, some of them uncontrollable. For example, more than 75% of new cases are diagnosed in people who are 55 years of age and older. Heredity plays a role in 10% of cancers, whereby a mutation is passed from one generation to the next. Prostate cancer in men and breast cancer in women are especially likely to be hereditary. Perhaps 15% of cancers stem from viral infection. Notably, the human papillomavirus, or HPV, is a sexually transmitted virus that can result in genital warts or cervical cancer. Another STD, hepatitis B, can lead to the development of liver cancer. In addition, HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, can lead to several potentially deadly cancers, such as Kaposi's sarcoma or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Even better, some cancer risk factors are controllable, like the use of tobacco products. Last year, more than one-third of cancer-related deaths were from lung cancer. Another third of cancer-related deaths, such as those from thyroid and colon, may have been preventable by engaging in certain healthy lifestyle choices like regular exercise and excellent nutrition. In addition, the one million cases of skin cancer, which are diagnosed each year, are often related to overexposure to the sun's rays. Even one's environment can lead to cancer. Children and spouses of smokers, for example, are much more likely to develop lung cancer. Chemicals like asbestos can still be found in some workplaces and homes and can lead to cancer of the lung, kidneys, and larynx. While these factors are very real, a number of myths regarding cancer abound. These so-called risk factors actually have no bearing on the development of cancer. For example, there's no conclusive evidence that using underarm deodorant causes breast cancer or that microwaving plastic containers or wraps releases cancer-causing toxins. Cancer is not contagious, which means you cannot catch it from spending time with someone else. Although many cancers are not preventable, some, such as cervical, breast, and prostate, can be slowed or even eradicated with early detection. For this reason, people with multiple risk factors should talk to their doctors about regular screening. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.